Justice Hooney, thanks for taking the time out to talk to us, mate. Uh, you're fighting this October the 28th in Cancun, Mexico, on the Oshaki Foster versus Eduardo Hernandez card. You're taking on American Andrew Tabiti. Firstly, mate, how's the preparation going? Preparation has been good. Um, been injury free this whole camp, so um, yeah, there's no excuses. I'm really going to go into this one. I've done all the hard work now, so just looking to go out there and put on a show. Can't wait. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I imagine the climate is similar to Queensland over there. Uh, how have you adjusted since arriving in Mexico? Yeah, there's a, been a little bit of jet lag, but um, other than that, it's been good. Uh, I love it here, right? The weather's been really good. Nice the location very nice. So um, yeah, I'm grateful to be able to uh, perform over here. Um, you just mentioned that you're injury-free. Obviously, originally this fight was postponed due to an ankle injury. From all the footage I've seen, you look sharp, you look ready to go. Can I ask you, how was the rehabilitation and recovery process for you? Um, yeah, it was pretty upsetting that I caught that injury literally two days before I was supposed to fly out. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a setback, but you know, I've had plenty of those before. And, um, just, um, I've learned to still get back on my feet and you know, start putting in hard work again. And um, yeah, look, I'm just happy to be here and um, be able to perform over here in Mexico. And it's uh, it's very beautiful over here. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, it's a good. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because, yeah, you're no stranger to setbacks. You've obviously had, obviously had a few in your time, but but you bounce back every time. Does every setback strengthen your resolve, you know, your body, and I guess, more importantly, your mind? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think my biggest setback was having to miss out on the Olympics, and since then, I've just learned how to, um, you know, cope with it over time, and it's become easier and easier, and, and just get back on my feet and uh, get back to doing what I love. That's it, bro. That's it. Um, it's your maiden fight under Matram since signing with them. Uh, how important is it to showcase your talent against Andrew Tabiti and put on a great display on the night? It's very important. Um, I'm looking to, you know, come out and put on a big show. Obviously, like you said, to make a statement. Um, you know, especially being my international debut, it's going to be a whole lot of new eyes watching uh, me, so yeah, I just can't wait. I can't wait to um, put on a show for all these new um, eyeballs that are going to be watching me. Yeah, that's it. Um, now, Andrew Tabiti, he's going to have to worry about what you do in the ring, but he's been around for a while. He's He's got the experience. I'm sure he's picked up a few tricks along the way. What sort of fight are you expecting from him on the night? It'll, it'll be a bit of a chess match. Um, he's got a lot of speed, and you know, I carry a bit of speed for a heavyweight as well. So um, I think once we we throw each other out, it'll uh, turn out to be a cracking fight. Um, now, the fight for the WBA International Heavyweight title, it's an important title. It will open up a lot of doors, you know, for, for potentially huge fights later on in the future. Um, by winning that belt, can I ask you, mate, do you believe it will announce to the world and to the critics, I guess, that, yes, you do belong on the world stage? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, well, I'm just looking to take it one fight at a time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, mate, you know, let my performances speak for themselves. So I just want to take one fight at a time and make my way up into the um, top 10 and then you know, start making some noise there. You know, I have to start getting some big fights against other fighters in the top 10. Yeah. Um, you've got Tasman fighters behind you. You've got Matchroom behind you, fighting on a huge platform like the zone with a global audience. You said yourself it's going to be a whole bunch of new eyeballs watching you. Um, your talent has got you where you are now, but how important is it also to have the right team behind you, working behind the scenes to make things happen for you? Yeah, it's, um, it's a big part of you know, why I'm able to do what I do and why I'm very grateful to have a uh, such a good team behind me, Tasman Fighters, and 
Um, not true. And without them, I wouldn't be sitting here uh, in Cancun today. So I'm very thankful to have such a loyal and, uh, you know, trusting team behind me. Yeah, that's it, man. Well, just finally, mate, um, is there anything you want to say to your fans watching back home? Uh, tune in October 28th. Um, I'll be looking to put on a show for all of you, sir, and get behind me. Definitely, bro. Uh, Justice Rooney, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Look forward to seeing you in the ring October 28th, Cancun, Mexico. And hopefully when we speak next, bro, you'll be a, a proud owner of the WBA International Heavyweight title. Yeah, that's it, mate. I'm looking forward to it.